IPR awareness. Today, the topic that we have taken is women and IPR. So, to tell us more about this topic, we have a resource person that is Ms. Ujwal Singh. Before I proceed, it is my duty to first and foremost thank our founder principal, Dr. J.C. Pulswani, our IQSC coordinator, Dr. Pushpa Pulswani, for always encouraging us to take up such kind of initiatives for the well-being of the society. Women today are in the forefront of all the sectors. They have been a driving force in innovation and creativity. Women have pushed boundaries in the field of science, arts, technology, and business. Women represent a huge talent pool. Women are in the forefront not only in technology or science, but also in entrepreneurship. And as a woman is growing tall, it is very important and pertinent for her to be aware about the law proceedings. So, to guide us more on the law aspects, especially related to copyright, today we have a resource person, Ms. Ujwal Singh, who, is, who has done a BSc in chemistry and MSc in chemistry from IIT Delhi. She has done her BA in 2019. Math is a uh, examiner and paper setter for patent and design since 2019. She has also been a content developer and also she is a NIPA officer. Madam, on behalf of SSC College of Arts and Commerce, I welcome you to this session and I also thank you for giving us your valuable time and you will be guiding our students and the general audience. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for such a nice introduction of mine. Good morning, all. And I feel very fortunate and honored to introduce you to the intellectual property right once again on this prestigious platform. So I am very thankful to the principal sir and the technical team uh, the, from the contribution of which this program has become possible. So now the theme of today's program is women and intellectual property as already uh, introduced by ma'am that we will be focusing on women and intellectual properties. So uh, on in the year 2023, the theme is accelerating innovations and creativity. So we will be celebrating the can-do attitude of the women inventors, creators and entrepreneurs around the world and their groundbreaking work. So basically women in all regions of the world, they face extreme level of problems. They face large challenges in accessing the knowledge, skills, resources, and support they need to thrive. So how our system has evolved or how we could support them so that they can create their ideas into assets and then further commercialize them. We will be discussing in today's presentation. So I welcome you all once again. Now I am sharing my PPT. I would like to know if everything is visible to you or not. Is the screen visible? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Are the slides visible? Hello. 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 
Enter. Uh, hello, madam, are you there? Madam, you are not. Madam, you are born on mute. Ah uh, yes, I have uh, deliberately muted it. Okay. But uh, uh, since there are only three participants, so I don't know whether the students will join or not. Madam, they are there. And they are there. It is start. It is uh, live, no? So they okay, are. Okay, and I am not getting any response from your side. So what is the purpose? If I should not start. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I request the participants to uh, uh, respond as and when uh, Madam yes. is asking questions. And uh, what we got was, Madam, that uh, your from your end it has got uh, this thing. Uh, there is a technical problem. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, there is no yeah. technical problem. I was just asking. I have checked earlier also. Okay. So okay. I, I think I should begin now. Yes, yes, ma'am. I am confirmed with the participants. I thought participants are not there. No, no, no. They are there. They are there. Okay. So let's begin with our intellectual property rights. Apart from twenty sixth April being celebrated as World Intellectual Property Day, our government has taken one initiatives also, which is NIPAM, and under which. the government has decided to educate students all over india about the needs and importance of intellectual property right so let's begin with some examples as how women have contributed to intellectual properties and innovations so basically the purpose of innovation is to solve a particular problem okay and since in uh, every region not only in india but in all the region of the world women of the world through their time they faces challenges in accessing the knowledge skills resources and support they they need to thrive so how do women overcome their challenges i will share some examples through which 
you would be clear that in earlier also in the late 90s and in the late 80 80s how women have broken a barrier to achieve something which at, at that point of time was not possible but they have done it so i i uh, encourage all the women who are attending this session to please be bold and please do hard work if you have some idea if you have anything from these examples i have taken only six examples because we have scarcity of time so from these example you will understand that the problems they have at that time they are very common problems what they did is they just have, think on that uh, problem and they have some solution to that and they work hard on that so that they will achieve the solution of that problem no doubt they have faced many challenges and many problems uh, but still their hard work and their imagination has done a lot of work so first example is jane power so what she invented is she invented the aquarium that we all uses in our uh, offices or that is there in any whenever you go to restaurants you will find the aquarium basically she started uh, studying marine life in her uh, uh, bachelor's so she went to on an island where she found the shells and she tried of thinking that uh, why should not i put the these marine animals into an aquarium so that i get to know about them better and in that case she make a aquarium kind of thing where she uh, supplied all the necessary ingredients that are necessary for the survival of the marine life so that results in the invention of aquarium then another example is margaret e knight she her time period was 1838 to 1914 and what she discovered now there is a very good story behind it she discovered a uh, flat bottom paper bag machine now it sounds very common to us because uh, we find that paper is a very common thing what's new in that but at that time 1838 a uh, woman invented a machine right and that machine uh, itself it utilizes the papers and the glue and you don't you need not to do it by hand there the machine will automatically make the bags which are flat at the bottom now a case happened to him that a person a male person he stolen his uh, her idea of the paper bag machine and then filed a patent against her will so then she filed a case that the machine is uh, being invented by me how come a person claim uh, for a patent of that machine but uh, you know there is uh, the tradition or there is a myth in the society that women can't uh, do mechanical work or can't think of mechanical machines so in fact it's uh, in her country also not in india that myth was there so the man he argued in the court that how come a woman make a mechanical machine so then she showed her previous patents and proved that the machine is being invented by her only then later on uh, she uh, got the right for this machine paper bag machine and from there onward she filed uh, the patent over uh, 100 machines from which she got 20 patents so the, you know the idea is very common okay you may have some very simple approach to a solution to a problem what you have to do is you have to select a right path for it now another example is josh madam madam uh, sorry to say uh, this uh, woman with the name margaret she had patented 20 machines in the 1838 to 1940 yes yes so that is too old uh, that time also she had an habit of patenting this particular paper yes, bag yes, machine yes yes madam that was a query of one of the student okay uh, sir uh, sir in, uh, please, uh, 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 at the end of the quiz uh, this session i yeah, will yeah. answer all the queries okay so, ma'am okay. yeah okay let ma me complete the presentation first so another another woman is josephine so 
तो वी ऑल नो द डिशवाशर इज वेरी कॉमन थिंग नाउ अ डेज बट शी वॉज अ हाउस वाइफ सो यू नो हाउस वाइफ वेन एवर दे डू सम हाउस टफ सो दे फेस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लाइक इन माई केस ऑल्सो आई कुक फूड बाय माई सेल्फ सो समाइम आई फेस इज मैनी प्रॉब्लम बट ड्यू टू uh like i have to go to the office at time so i didn't find any time to work on it but she was a housewife and uh, her husband died leaving her in debt of many rupees so she decided to invent something now being alone and being at that time it's very uh, challenging for a woman to step outside of the her house and go to for to go to a company or urge a company to give her idea uh, some importance or to appraise her idea so being a widow she faces lot of difficulties uh, then she invented a dishwasher what uh, the dishwasher do as normal that we use is today it's a machine that holds the uh, utensils and then there is a pressure of water over it so with high pressure of water the utensils got Clean. So she also got patent for her mechanical dishwasher, and now from that invention only the one of the company appreciated her work and uh, uh, filed the patent for it. And then uh, from that machine only she earned a lot, and then she was able to clear all the debts that were uh, pertaining to her. Okay. Now next is Mary Anderson. so could you think of a car without a wind windshield wiper could you ever think of of it she invented the windshield wiper actually while she was coming coming back from office to her hometown she found that the weather was very bad and she was thinking of it how could i uh, how could i drive a car that uh, have some clean uh, window then she went to home and she worked on the idea finally she discovered she invented windshield wipers and actually she went to many offices uh, for this uh, the car along with windshield wiper but uh, nobody appreciated her work everyone rejected that our car will not get sold or will not get popularity with this windshield wiper but later on what it is found that Uh, this uh, one of the car has got this windshield wipers and it become very famous at that time so from then onwards every car has this uh, very essential technical features which is uh, very much effective in bad weather and that that feature is of windshield wipers so these are some small inventions but nobody think at some part of time this might have happened okay now next is sara bradler so she is a she was a black woman and when you search google about her you will found that she at her time she was one of the most wealthiest women of her time so uh, uh she found that women whose skin tone was black they face the one of the very famous uh, sorry one of the very common problem in them was uh, the madam you are not talking for uh, hair fall okay. and product because at that time the cosmetic product that usually most of the people were using that were very harsh so she tried of thinking she th- she was thinking about a product that will have some a uh, good effect not harmful effect on the car so so she invented that uh, cosmetic uh, hair shampoo and now when you search about her then you will found found that she has her own cosmetic brand at that time now last one is melita benz so what was her idea is now this is very common problem especially the mother related to the mother so diapers are very common at the to the into days life but at that point in 1873 could you think of something like diaper nobody thinks of it 
Now, here the timeline is very important. Today we are thinking of it as okay, this is very common, but this is how a particular technology develops. You have very small idea, then you will go on further advancing that idea. Now, sixth one is uh, Benz. So, what happened is uh, she uses normal clothes for her baby, but she uh, always she found that there is leakage of in it. Then she further tried about it. So, what happens is finally she make a diaper which from which the liquid will not get perforated. She uh, and another problem is what the main problem uh, is with the diapers that uh, the baby would get rashes on her thighs. So when she made that diaper, there were no uh, rashes. So then she filed a patent for it. Somebody uh, guided her to file to get a patent on it. So this is how now we are using diapers, which is very common. But at that time. It's very uh, inventive thing. Okay. Now, let me share you about the story of India. How in India, invention has been taken place. So, everybody, I think most of you have uh, watched the Shark Tank show. Okay. So, that show was basically based on the entrepreneurs and these intellectual properties only. Now, you know who is Jugadu Kamlesh? So, the person, this person came to that show and he invented a pesticides uh, machine. So, basically, the pesticide spray causes serious medical illness issue for his father. He went to Kabadi shop to pick some spare parts of the straps. From these traps, he uh, invented a trolley cart after seven years. So he keeps on adjusting those trap parts. One of his trolley has got video viral on the social media. You can check it. So this is how he doesn't even uh, spend a penny on, on that invention. It's only his mind that has worked. His ideas. So we could say that now... Since his father was facing some problem, his father was not being comfortable with those uh, pesticide spray. Now, then he went on thinking of that idea that why shouldn't I make a machine that will help my father to do his work effectively? So he invented that machine. Now, this is how most of the invention or any idea works. You have a company, so many company, for example, drug-related company, they have their research and development department separate. So they, uh, they ask the research and development department to do something innovative that is uh, than the uh, existing knowledge. So either they will have some new drugs or they will have some different drugs, okay, which have some improved combination or composition. So what could they do? Either they have the collaboration with another company for commercialization or they will directly commercialize it. For example, most of the education institutes, they have a separate wing for research and development. So sometimes what company do is they will collaborate with the research wing of that particular institute. Now the institute will uh, give their ideas or give their innovations to that company for the commercialization of that product. Okay, this is how usually our uh, system works. So now let's begin with the very basic idea and knowledge of intellectual property. So we all know about land, farmhouses. This is the traditional type of property. Okay, that has been in use from the past but as the as we find some problems we we started thinking of then comes the then comes the use of intellectual property and its application 
So as I have already told you about the story of Jugadu Kamlesh, that her his father faces the problem of uh, pesticide spray. There was a problem that it needs to mention. But traditionally, it was considered earlier, if you ask your uh, grandfather what are property, they will simply say that lands are property or houses are property or car is a property or gold is a property. But do you know that inventions, innovations are the major property in today's era? You know how much the uh, particular company, everybody knows that Facebook is earning how much amount. Microsoft is earning well. Apple company has its own technology. So the technology only, that their unique ideas only, they lead to a big commercialization in a company. Yeah. So these are that, that uh, these pictures on the screen. That is on the right hand side. There are some examples of inventions and intellectual property. So if you have an idea, you could now understand. Yes, slide. We have just looked at some examples of intellectual properties. So any idea or any kind of human invention that is providing the solution to a existing problem is considered as intellectual property. Why? Because you have, as a human being, your brain works to solve a particular problem. So in result of it, you develop an idea and an idea leads to some commercialization. If you utilize it well, if you proceed in a good direction, in a guided direction, then you could always utilize the idea. So what could we say that? What are intellectual property? Intellectual property are creation of human mind. These are the inventions, designs, literary work and symbols. So we will be discussing on them one by one. Then could you make this property, your idea as having some monetary value yes as i have already discussed in the uh, previous slides where the women inventors have utilized those ideas so diapers these those all were the ideas that has been converted into assets okay yes you can convert your ideas into assets you can bought, uh, bought them you can sold them could you sold, uh, sell your mobile phone yes you can sell your mobile phone can you exchange your mobile phone? Yes, you could exchange your mobile phone. So is the mobile phone an intellectual property? Yes, it is an intellectual property. But why it is an intellectual property? Because it is created by human beings. Okay, it is, create, it is created by our brain. We have think of a problem that if our relative is sitting at some long distance, how could we communicate? How do we do video calls with him? So we have made a device which will solve those problems and then we have mobile phone. And now those mobile phone manufacturing company, are they earning? Yes. So it means that that intellectual property has some monetary benefits associated with them. Now we will discuss these five intellectual property in detail, which are designs, trademarks, patent, copyrights, and geographical indications. So first we will be discussing on designs. So this is the hard pick bottle. Could you, could you, could you see the chain differences in these two bottles? The main difference is the color and the graphic designs on it. Now, next is these bottles. What is the change? What is difference in these bottles is their shape as well as their color. Both are different. Now, once again, here there are different patterns on the bottle. So what could you see that? There, the line or the patterns are different in all four bottles. So we conclude that designs protect the shape, configurations and patterns of the article. Okay, so whenever there comes the concept of looks, then it is protected under designs. Okay, 
so suppose you are manufacturing a diaper or the previous examples that i have discovered or diaper or it may be dishwasher dishwasher is what as such the concept is technical that there is a holder and there is a that that holder holds the uh, pressure of the water supply but on the same side on the same time there is one more thing that you could give different shape to the dishwasher you could uh, cover it with some beautiful designs so that thing is protected under industrial design so differentiation plus visual appeals it will lure the customer okay how if you have suppose i am giving you the mobile phone with some beautiful or imaginary design theek hai the the composition or the technical features the mobile is doing the same that other mobiles are doing but now the uh, phone has what it has new shape a new appearance so would you buy it yes you would you would all always prefer to buy the one which is good looking so how long does the design protected 10 plus 5 year a particular a design could got, got get protection for 10 years or it could be extended till 5 year okay so these are some examples where you can then get protection on the design of a particular uh, uh, article first one is handicraft then watches jewelry fashion and other luxury items now you could find design on the sofa sets whenever you go on a shop and buy a sofa then you could see that there are three or four so their design is considered the set is considered whole as a design okay it's not necessary that take one sofa and file the design on it as a whole also there are three sets four set four sofa set theek okay? hai so all are protected under design so what is the basic idea for getting protection under design if you have an invention and you are you want to protect its outermost appearance or its looks so you would file for the design protection now you could see that there are are uh, sofa set then there is a watch and you will find that if you see your uh, restaurant the restaurant then you will find that every person is wearing a watch with some different color or different shape why is it so because with different shapes the in, uh, inventors or the person who is uh, designing the shape he will have the right to protect it because everything that is being protected should be new and unique okay so there is a very famous case i would like to you to read about it which is related to the designs uh that the case is jlr puts an infringement case against jiangling's design registration for land wind x7 on the basis that there is no distinction difference from the prior design of range rover so my main idea is whenever you are filing for a design especially for the car companies it, it become very important because you know model plays a important role on the their price the how do they look how do a particular car looks so in on that basis jlr said that the uh, outermost appearance of land x wind x7 is similar to the jianglings so they have copied their uh, appearance or their shape Now I would request you to please go through the case and next intellectual property. So we could uh, summarize that design basically covers the aesthetic aspects of an article. That is, uh, uh, that is the look of the article or the shape of the article or the pattern of the article. Okay. Now next intellectual property is, is trademark. so what do trademarks protect basically trademark protects the word symbols names logos or device and distinguish which has the company to distinguish their goods and services from the rest of the company so it could be a brand name a slogan a certification mark or a moving mark so you could find on the screen that there are different type of logos are they visible to you okay so every logo is what 
it could be a symbol it is it could be a certification mark so why do company need that the question is that so suppose you want to start your own drug company first thing you should do is you have to make your separate place in the market for your drug this is what you should do na so for making that separate place you have some symbol so that uh, people will memorize your logo that from that logo they could remind of your drug so these trademarks help the company to do the okay because if they give the name suppose diaper if they give the whole name then it will be difficult for us also as a customer to remember the name or their uh, items that they are they are marketing so in that case they what do they do I, either they choose a small word or they choose the slogan or they choose the logo so that people will memorize their product by their that logo so now there are some criteria while you are filing for the trademark ma'am ma'am ma that yes sir ma madam could you uh, highlight on moving marks what moving marks moving marks yeah i will highlight later on okay, okay yeah in my last slide it's there in the slides only so now there are some uh criteria for getting your trademark register now you will get all the intellectual property registered only when your idea is unique and new okay if your idea is not unique or not new then you will not get trademark registered on it okay so don't copy anyone's idea there are many trademark cases that i will discuss okay in the later slide so while there are some uh steps that you should keep into mind while making a trademark which is you should not uh, use deity or national or any religious symbol while creating a trademark okay now now another is so these are some examples of uh, trademark first is words and service mark what is service mark is you could detect the company by the small name like infosys tata star plus there is a name through which you could recognize that company then there is shape mark shape marks means from the shape of that uh, logo you could recognize that company for example coca cola if you have the coca cola bottle then you will automatically recognize that it is from coca cola company from the bottle only from the shape only if i will provide you the shape of this bottle and i will ask you that from which company does this bottle belong then you will say that it is from coca cola then logos and symbols how it's all it or everything is present on the my uh, slide logos and symbol it means there is some shape along with logo so like adidas there is a logo from the logo only you could detect its company then google the nike all are the examples of logo and symbol another is collective mark basically the collective marks are those which we give to a organ group of organization for example skill india under skill india there could be many organization okay so it is a collective mark for all the organization which are working under skill india then series mark series mark is suppose you have a major company macd now macd basically is for burgers but suppose macd will start producing another thing french fries then some it will start doing the business of delivery then the company is same but it has some subset or some blex which are doing different function so in that case you could have series mark it means the main parent company is same but you could uh, slightly modify the marks for their different services okay the last one is certification mark certification marks is uh, provided by basically the uh, standard 
rules. Okay, for example, FSSAI, through which you could detect that okay, this is authentic. ISI marks, how do you detect that the particular gold is of good quality or the particular utensil of is of good quality through certification marks? Now, sir, ask me about the moving marks. Moving marks are, for example, Yahoo. Whenever you see Yahoo, you will find that it is always blinking. Will not see in a static form. Whenever you uh, see for Yahoo, then that is moving mark. And Nokia also, when the screen open, when you switch on the Nokia phone, then you will find a moving mark over there. It reminds you of, the only thing is that that uh, word is in motion or that logo is in motion. Okay, I think, sir, you are convinced with my answer. One very good example is Microsoft Windows. When you open your laptop or your desktop, what will you see? That that uh, square box is moving. So that is the example of moving box. Okay. Now what are the benefits? As I have already told you, whenever you have your idea, the first and foremost benefit is that you are the owner of that thing and without any fear, you could commercialize it. And if you find anyone who is copying your idea and selling it by your name, then you have whole right to sue that person in the court. Now, this is a very famous uh, trademark uh, case. So, earlier, you know, Starbucks coffee, very expensive. So, basically, it has its uh, branches for coffee. Now, there comes uh, uh, India based. Indian origin company, which is Sardar Baksh Coffee. Now you will see that they, both the logos are looking similar. So whenever the, the first and foremost criteria for getting trademark is your trademark should be unique and new. But here you what is there on the screen that the logo of Starbucks as well as the logo of uh, Sardar Baksh Coffee. Soup. They both are looking similar. So what Starbucks did, they went and filed a case against Sardar Bhatt for infringing their trademark. And what do you think? Did they win the case or they lose the case? The result is that Sardar Bhatt has stopped using that logo in their coffee shops. Okay. So whenever you are starting your business, it is advised to you to choose a logo which is different from the existing logo. Now, similar thing happened with Fitch, Happy Fizz. You have well known about it. So, Parley Agro Private Limited filed infringement case on Walmart India for violating its trademark when it launched a deceptively similar packaging and sold an apple flavored drink called Fiji Apple. Okay. So, Walmart India argued that the Fiji was common descriptive word and has no and hence no one could claim the monopoly over the thing. So in reply, Fizzy Apple, what did he said? That no one could claim the monopoly on the thing. But the reply from the court is that Walmart has to stop using the trademark because it, it creates illusion. If you don't know very much about the Epiphys logo, then of course if somebody give you that kind of bottle, the fizzy app bottle, then you will get, uh, you will get deceptive. Whether it is epiphyl or whether, whether it is original epiphyl or, or it is not. So in that case, they lose the case, Walt Mart India, and they have to stop using that kind of shape. See, shape is also similar. Everything is similar. So in that case, they lost the case. Now, there is one more trademark dispute with is on Meta Company by yourself. Now, next is copyrights. But before going to it, let me summarize you about the trademark. Now, what trademark should protect? Trademark should protect the logo, symbols, and word name that 
can be utilized for the trading. It could be uh, a logo or it could be a smell mark also. Now moving on to our next intellectual property, which is the copyright. So what do copyright protects? Copyright protects the way of expression. For example, right now I am expressing this presentation to you. So this presentation itself is a way of expression. But I am performing in front of you. So both these are what? The way a person could express himself or herself. So all these kind of works are protected under copyright. Now, copyright is basically divided into two subcategories. One is literary work and another is artistic work. So in literary work, you could say novels and newspapers could be protected. And in artistic work, your photograph, painting and computers could be protected. So have you seen this kind of symbol? Yes, it is there on your books as well as you could find the, the symbol that is just below the red mark red stem then this symbol you could see the, on your website on your office or any official website you could find this kind of symbol so what does it mean it means that that particular work is protected under copyright now once again criteria of getting your ip registered is the same in all the Cases that we will be discussing today. Your work should be new, your work should be original. Okay. Now, what benefits could a person who has copyright will he get? The first thing is the owner of the copyright has not only the right in the original work, but also in the creative work. Now, how could it come possible? I will give you an example. You know, one movie has came to India. Which is which movie was it? It was two states. So, who is the author of that uh, movie? From whose storyline the movie has been made? It is from the Chetan Bhagat novels, which is two states. So, automatically, who, who will be considered the original creator for that work? Chetan Bhagat. Okay. But when you see that there is a kind of agreement always that the producer of that film has taken from the Chetan Bhagat. There is always kind of permission. Otherwise, automatically, because the story was of Chetan Bhagat, automatically he should have right in that film. Okay. So it's it does not give right to the original work, but if somebody is modifying his, uh, the original work, then automatically the creator of the original work has got right in the new work. So uh, these are some examples of literary work, artistic work, and musical work from which you can get copyright. So literary work may up include kar sakte hai. there could be books, newspaper, question papers, catalog, story, and most important software program. So if somebody asks you where do we protect software programs, then you should say that software programs are based on the coding languages and languages are what? Languages are literary work and literary work are protected under copyright. Now moving on to the next thing, which is the artistic work. Artistic work includes the drawings, sculptures, charts, and paintings. Then the musical work, you are well versed with the musical work that it consists of two things. One is the graphical notation and another is sound recording. And you could always tell me who is the famous musical artist or who is very famous in musical industry. If I ask you about A.R. Rahman, then you will say that he is very popular or well-known musical composer. Okay. Or lyrics, okay? You are expressing yourself not through lyrics. Then it is also, also protected under copyright. Now we always say that there are some related rights. Related rights means they are similar to copyright. Okay? For example, rights of a performer, rights of a snake charmer, okay? The one who performs on the... In fact, the person, you will, most of the time you will find some person painting on the wall in public places. 
So that person also, he could claim that, that painting belongs to him. But in uh, because there is lack of knowledge, they do not know how to commercialize their work. They, sometimes they do their work uh, very at very cheap rates. Okay? But that is copyright because they are doing what? Artistic work. They are painting on walls. So that is also the subject matter of copyright. Now, another right which is similar to copyright is broadcaster side. Okay? Now, broadcaster sites are given to the broadcasting organization. For example, you will find Shark Tank only on Sony TV. Sony TV is what? Sony TV is broadcasting organization and it has taken rights on the broadcasting of the show Shark Tank. Now, what is the life, what is the term for which you could get these rights? Performance rights are given for 50 years and copyright also for 60 years. Then your broadcaster rights are for 25 years. Okay. So a particular show will be there on a specific channel for 25 years. Now, there is a case of copyright infringement. This is a very famous case. So, I have also done my graduation from uh, Delhi University. So, I am I will explain it to you in a better way. What we used to do is, there are some books which are very expensive. So, we could not buy them at that time when we were in college. So, what we do is, we go, we went on the photocopy shop and we asked our uh, photocopier to give us the Xerox of that book. But later on, Oxford University filed a case against most of the Delhi University professors as well as the person who is giving us the photocopy of that of their books. Now, on 9th December 2016, the bench of Delhi High Court interpreted that under Section 52, Subsection 1, J I of the Copyright Act, to allow for the copy of, of copyright literary work to create course pack is allowed. Why? Because it is for educational pur uh, purpose and it's not for commercialization. You could allow this for the copy until or unless it is for educational purpose. Okay. So the uh, uh, the result of the case was that he was allowed to do it. It was not infringement. Infringement occurs when you are commercializing that case, that copyrighted work. Okay. So now from the, that time onwards, he, he, he has been photocopying his books. Okay. Now, uh, what could we say that any kind of expression is protected under copyright? Now, moving on to the next intellectual property, which is GI. So, what is the meaning of GI? Basically, GI tag stands for geographical indication of an item which is specific to a particular place or region. Okay. So, if you, you are, suppose, living on a rural area, then you will find that there is specific uh, vegetable or specific food that has been grown in your area. Then, now, that fruit has some uh, different taste, unique taste. Now, if it has some unique taste, then you could always protect your uh, vegetable or food under GI tag. So, how should you proceed for the application of GI tag? First thing is, GI tag could not be filed by a single person. It is always filed by a collaborative body. Okay. Then, application should be backed by proof of uniqueness. Since I have already told you that everything that should be registered, it should be unique or new. Okay. If your fruit is, or if the taste in your fruit is, it will not be unique, then you could not get registration under GI. So you should provide the office all the documents that will prove that your product is new or unique. And you should also show that it has been grown to your places a long time back. Okay. Only then you could get GI tag on it. Then GI registry search if you the things that you are saying are true or not. And yes, if the product is unique or not. Then within four months, if no opposition is being received by the office, then you could get GI tag on that product. 
Now, do you know how many GI tags from different states has been given in India? In Jammu Kashmir, there are across eight GI tags. In Himachal, six GI tags. Delhi, one. Punjab, two. In Haryana, two. Rajasthan, nine. Now, some examples of GI tags are Darjeeling tea. It's very famous. And I would like to tell you that it is not from Assam. It is from West Bengal. So if anybody asks you to tell the name of the GI tag, then don't ever say that Darjeeling tea from Assam. It is from West Bengal. Then Makrana Marble. Then the Rami Sev. Rami Sev is from Indore. Then Panjipuram Silk. Then Katputli from Rajasthan. These all have got GI tags. Okay. Now, there is one controversy over here about the GI. You know, Rashgulla has got GI tag from where? From Kolkata. But then, uh, Rashgulla from Odisha have also filed for GI tag. They went to GI registry and uh, filed for GI registration. What was found that? GI searched for the uniqueness in it. You see that there is difference in their shape as well as their color. So, and at the same time, they have provided the historical proof of that Rasgulla. So, they got the GI tag on it because that was not similar to Rasgulla and that was unique and it has been practiced in Odisha from a long time. Now, whenever uh, you, how do you check that your product is GI registered? There is a, once your uh, goods or services it is uh, registered under GI, then a registration number is provided to you by the registry, GI registry. So you will always find that, uh, see on the screen also, you could see that GI is written on it, GI Ratnaguri. And here in the third figure in Mesur Sandal store, you will find the registration number also. See here the registration number is visible. So always you will find the symbol as well as the registration number that will hint you that the particular product is registered under GI. So what could we say? It, what Briefly that products that belong to specific region can be protected under GI. So now the last one is the patent. So uh, all these, why, why, could you tell me why I have put uh, patents on the left hand side and all other uh, intellectual property to the right hand side? Could that even tell me what could be the purpose for me separating the patent from the rest of the intellectual property? Madam, one of the students, uh, uh, we have the uh, answer to your question. She says that the, uh, the patent is a uh, new inventions and rather than are the creations. Is it the right answer, ma'am? Why it is in the left hand side and rather is in the right hand side? So what there is, uh, what is there in the, all the intellectual property on the right hand side? What uh, do they do? Basically, the properties that has been listed on the right hand side their main purpose is of trading. You will find that they are more oriented towards commercialization. They have uh, less linkage to the science and technology. Okay. They have more linkage towards the arts background. So, and their purpose is of trading. Now, patents is more of technical thing. It is more related to the Science. Now, let's begin with the art. So, whenever see on the first first figure, is there in it? At the time when COVID was started, so all the teachers have to give online lectures. Or they have to do video conferencing. But if there is a single person only at home, how could a person manage to do the video graphy at the same time and teaching at the same time? So what she has done is she has hand her phone by use of some uh, ropes and uh, chair. 
and she started making video of herself this is what is there any science involved in it no there is no science involved in it what is new in it is there any scientific thing that is there in it no everybody knows that if you tie something that it, it will hang there is nothing new in it now uh if you uh, since you are uh, staying in hostel most of you may be staying in hostel uh so uh, what do uh, students do is uh, in the uh, winter season if they do not have gas access to the cng okay lpg so they have done is they want to eat rice so what they did this this kind of jugar okay so is there any science no everybody knows that if you replace the normal gas stove with the candle then it, it will automatically heat up and uh, cook the food now next is uh, this uh, baba uh, in the season of summer he has fitted the fan on his forehead just to keep himself cool during the heat wave so there is nothing in mention in it. okay he just put on something which is already being invented so another thing is so due to in figure 4 since he is not having the mirror so he used the camera in, from his laptop for shaving so last one is for parking the students have used the tank okay for parking their bike so is there any technical or is there any science involved in it this kind of jugaad we do in our day to day life is to make our life easy is there any technical thing or something new or invention could you give patent to it no there is nothing invention in it so these but these are what these are a kind of approach to solve a particular problem so we could say that these could be the initiation to a solution okay we could ne not neglect their importance at the same time although these are jugaads but these jugaads may lead to some kind of invention okay so whenever children come to you and whenever they will say that okay sir i have uh, done this time of temporary arrangement you should appreciate them you should not neglect them okay because they are the primary step for the invention now we have four examples which are inventions which are not jugaad the first one is the jugaadu kamlesh as i have already discussed in the beginning of my slide then uh, the device for visually impaired 16 year old gur simran has made this device it is that they have connected the uh, specs with the audio system and the specs with since uh, those who are blind they use braille for reading but they can't read screen so what has he done he has uh, linked the screen with the audio system the text on the screen with the audio so what is the there in on the lens the lens will sense that uh, words and then it will automatically audio translate to the ears so by this way they could hear the uh, text that has been written on the screen now third one is this uh, 17 year old sushant patnaik uh, made a uh, breathing device for disabled people so this device will uh, regularly supply the required amount of oxygen to those who have breathing disorder so what he has to do he has to sit on the chair now last one is doctor he has uh, made the cardiac device which help in treating infants born with congenital heart disease so you will see over here is first person is not educated at all second person is a small kid boy third person is also a student but he is well educated and last one is a doctor so could you give the observation from this slide could anyone give me my question is what does this slide interpret 
मैडम सुप्रिया राम फ्रॉम डीवाईबी में शी हैड आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन दैट कि एज डजंट मैटर एंड द क्वालिफिकेशन डजंट यस इन्वेंशन डजंट मेक एज एज अ बैरियर टू देम ओके एनी वन फ्रॉम एनी एज ग्रुप कुल फाइल फॉर अ पेशेंट दिस इज द मेन आईडिया बिहाइंड द इन्वेंशन एंड यू कुड सी दैट हाउ दिस जुगाड़ आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द इन्वेंशन so the first one is a machine so there is some collaborative work of every element so there is some science and technology involved in it so it is an invention again in second thing there is the connection there is some technology that is being involved which will first interpret the text on the screen and then it will audio translate it now in third and fourth one again the science is involved so yes those were eligible for it so we could say that if you have a problem and you have a scientific approach what is important over here is scientific approach then you could have solution to it and under section 21j of the patent act you could go and file for the patent office now there are two different things over here first is new thing and second is invention new means what so on the bottom on the top part you will see that those inventions were new the telephone that were new but now what we are using is mobile phone is it new no it is not new but it is advanced so for the term advanced we use a very specific term which is inventive okay then bulb bulb is new at that time nobody knows that there could be a device which will light in the room up but then it the it keeps on modification or there keeps on modification of bulb and now we have some led kind of tube lights then computers and now we use this laptops and desktop computers were new but desktops were desktops are only there they are computer only they are not new because they are computer only but they are some bit advanced because they are lightweight you can transport them from one place to another place very easily so if you have any product or a process which is advanced then you could always apply for its patent okay and patent is granted for how many years it is granted for 20 years so first indian patent is given to alfred george depending this is one example of uh, patent uh, michael jackson he has filed for his patent on shoes basically the shoes has you know he was known for his uh, specific moves moonwalk there is a term moonwalk for his dance step so you know the magic was there in his shoes only so that uh, hook arrangement helps him from falling down so he filed the patent of it in 1992 now one very famous case is of turmeric we you know it's a, it's on your traditional knowledge that uh, turmeric will help in wound healing it has antibacterial properties it has medicinal properties it's well in, known in our traditional knowledge so what in uh, one of the company from us did is they since we are less aware of this uh, patenting system so we didn't, didn't file patent on the turmeric then us company uh, uh, now they have to reject that patent same happened with the me so we could say that patents should be given to a product or a process which have industrial application now what are the importance of intellectual property the aim of ip system is to encourage the technique technology and economic development of the country for their creativity they give right they exclude the other they help you from copying your idea if you are a first or the original creator of your invention or any kind of intellectual property okay 
तो इफ वी समराइज दैट इन दिस स्लाइड वी हैव एवरीथिंग इन दिस स्लाइड लेट्स समराइज एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ आफ्टर दैट यू हैव अ क्विज सो बी अटेंटिव आई विल आस्क यू क्वेश्चंस ओके तो फर्स्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इज डिजाइंस सो डिजाइंस कवर्स व्हाट aesthetic aspects of an article and for how long do you protect your design for 10 years plus it, it is renewable for 5 more years okay then comes the trademark trademark protects your logo symbol signs then how long would you get trademark for 10 years but it could be renewable okay yeah. the sign that you fi- uh, found on the mac mcdonald it has been used 50 years back also because the, your trademark is renewable then copyright protects what copyright protects your expression okay your creative work your literary work your artistic work and for how long do you get the copyright from for 60 years so if i have done a uh, literary work then i could protect my literary work for 60 more years then gi gi are given to the products that belong to specific region and how long do you get gi for 10 years okay then patents is granted for 20 years and you could not renew your patent okay everything could be renewable but patents could not be removed so i will tell you what aspect of a thing could be protected under which intellectual property for example you have laptop on the screen so the led display see see apple have very specific led screen see that is the technical feature and technical feature of anything is protected under patent then the body body is what what is the shape basically how thin it is how long it is how wide it is how uh, how do it look like what is the color these are protected under designs because it is how it looks then the sign from which you detect that okay this is from apple phone apple company so this is protected under trademark okay so let's begin with the quiz which of type of ip protects the painting painted by artist please be quick yeah ma'am madam uh, one of the students says it's a registered uh, design is it right ma'am artist painting mm-hmm. artistic work are protected under which intellectual property it is protected under copyright okay okay, okay. not designs designs cover the shape of the article okay. here no yeah. article term is used so the correct answer is artist uh, sorry copyright what protect the advanced disk break for a bike developed by inventor madam i got the first response from one of my student with the name om uh, om kara he says patent is the right answer yes the correct answer is patent because what is disk see brakes are new at one point of time and disk break is inventive so inventive is it is a technical invention inventions are protected under patent what among these is geographical indication bmw patni sari ironing machine playstation or www madam one of the uh, student who is also right now in the technical department he says patni sari is the right answer ma'am the correct answer of that question is patni sari what does the trademark protect students please answer an invention a work of art logos names and brands the looks shapes and product a scent formula a secret formula a student from uh, with the name harshita from the school from she says logos names and brand is it yes, correct answer yes correct answer is logos names and brand how long do patent last for 10 years 20 years 40 years 60 years student answer is fast madam went with the name in called mono she he says protein yes is it right or wrong the correct answer is 20 years okay the correct answer is 20 if you write the original story how would you protect your story story is what kind of work it's a literary work so which ip will help you copyright 
Kanchan Chaudhary is copyright. Is the right answer? Yes, the correct answer is copyright. So if I cricketer is there and he sells his some uh, clothes. Now, which IP will he use to commercialize his clothes? Students, please answer first. Uh, that is trademark and uh, madam answer. The correct answer is. Is it the trademark one? One of the students yes, answer. The correct answer is trademark. Yeah, ma'am. So students are understanding the. Uh, uh, the way in uh, which we had explained, uh, the students are aware from first year, second year, and third year. Few students are appearing for university exams also. They are also answering also. Okay, sir. This is all from my side. If any students have any doubt, they could ask me. Okay. Okay. So that is the end of the slide. Okay, but Madam, women represent the huge or talent pool. It is a time to shine a light on the remarkable uh, contribution. Uh, on the World Intellectual Property Day, on that is 26th of April, uh, the theme which has been selected is women and IP is the best thing. And uh, since women are uh, doing their hard work, uh, their rights are to be protected. Madam, one of the one of the questions which has been raised by one of the students, uh, she says that that kicha papad, whatever the ingredients she uses, can be uh, done the patent, which was the last question from our end. The kicha papad, the Ingredients, what she's making, the traditional way of uh, making the poppers. Kicha popper is a rice uh, popper. Uh, sorry, sir, I am not getting your question. Madam, one of the students, uh, yes, she's uh, pursuing her MCOM. She says that the ingredients, what she's using for manufacturing the product called kicha popper, can be patent or not to be patent. Kicha popper uh, ingredients. Madam, how the formula? Yeah, ma'am, how the formula of cocoa? Coke was there, how the formula of uh, the other uh, what dislikes what you showed. The kicha puppet ingredients can be patent or not? Sure, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, see, you have many pre cooked uh, compositions, like we use tea powder, instant tea powder. All yeah, of the, the, those things have been patented. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Madam. But one more thing. Yeah. If there is anything which is extracted, which is herbal extract, which, yeah. which involves natural resources, then it is objected under certain sections, which is section three of our patents. So be sure that you should not include those kind of things in your composition. Okay. okay. Any other question? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, uh, being the women in all regions are shaping uh, the world through that imagination. Ingenuity and the hard work, but often face significant challenges in assessing knowledge, skill, and resource and support they need to travel. Uh, the theme on the World Intellectual Property Day is women in IP. It's the best thing. Uh, the women would be uh, the most entrepreneurs. They are in the teaching, music, and other industries. And you do being the women, and also the faculty who are produce you also being the women on the World uh, IP Day. I am thankful to Ujwal Singh, ma'am. Uh, like to introduce uh, one more line about Ujwal Singh, ma'am. She had uh, done uh, examine around two to three patents applications, and she is a member of the board of opposition uh, to grant. And she has ten plus post grant opposition and a credit. Uh, she had done her MSc uh, from IIT Delhi, and uh, she is also cleared her combined geologist and. Uh, Geoscientist examination. Remember, on the behalf of Assist College and the IQC department on the World Intellectual Property Day, I'm thanking to the whole uh, department of US, uh, the department of uh, World uh, IPR, as well as uh, thanking to the college for giving us the platform to organize such a, a very uh, resourceful or knowledgeable webinar on the IPR. Uh, all the students would be uh, thereby informed that they would be getting these certificates. Online on their registered email ID within seven working days. Thank you, uh, myself, Assistant Professor Sunil Shah, with the uh, uh, thank you to the Assistant Professor Padma Deshpande, who had hosted this webinar. Thank you to the founder principal, Dr. Jason Pushwani, and IPS coordinator, Prashant Pushwani. And thank you, the resource person, Ujjwal Singh. With this, I'm declaring this session is over. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening to me.
I'm I appreciate your uh, response. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, I'm leaving now. Yeah, ma'am. So, so we are declaring the session is over. Uh, thank you. Thank you from my side. Thank you.